Wow, this looks interesting question. Given to us is a rectangle with a diagonal drawn. In one part of this triangle, a incircle is drawn and a horizontal line is drawn which is passing through the center of the circle. Given is this purple and red line segment length is 2 and 4 cm. Exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find area of this rectangle. Okay, let's check the solution. Let's assume the radius of the circle is r centimeter. Radius is perpendicular to tangent and thus this angle is 90 degree. Now DA and CB, these are parallel lines. HE is transversal and thus this angle is alternate interior angle of this or 90 degree. Now OI is the radius of circle. It's perpendicular to the tangent. This height is also r and thus EB length will be same as R centimeter. Now if we look at this yellow triangle here and this green triangle here, for both of them these two angles are vertically opposite angle and thus equal. Both have 90 degree angles, both have got side R centimeter. And thus by angle angle side congruency, these triangles are congruent to each other. So triangle BEF is congruent to triangle OIF. As the triangles are congruent, thus the corresponding sides will be equal. So we can say OF length is equals to, sorry, BF length is equals to OF length. But OF length, that is nothing but 2 plus R centimeter. So BF is 2 plus R or this length here is 2 plus R. In this yellow triangle, applying Pythagoras theorem, will get r square plus 4 square is 2 plus r square. Opening the bracket on RHS and simplifying it, r square on both sides will get cancelled down. Solving it will get 12 is equals to 4 r or r is 3 centimeter. Now that we have got r is 3 centimeter, AB length that will be r plus r or 2 r plus 6. So AB is 2 r plus 6 putting R as 3, will get the length of the triangle as 12 cm. <clears throat> For the area, we need the height also. Now, AH is same as BE or R cm. So, we need to find DH length here. For that, we'll consider the yellow triangle and this green triangle here. They have got these angles equal, vertically opposite angles. They have got 90 degree angles. So by angle-angle similarity, we can say that triangle BEF is similar to triangle DHF. <clears throat> As the triangles are similar, thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal. So we can say that BE upon EF is equals to DH upon HF. Putting the values here, BE that is 3 cm. EF that's 4 cm. DH we have to find and FH. FH length is 3 plus 3 plus 2 or 8 cm. So DH upon 8. Simplifying it we'll get value of DH as 6 cm or the height of this triangle is 3 plus 6 or 9 cm. And the area of triangle that's length times breadth that is 108 centimeter square and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.